this is my first makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna show you my everyday get ready for school makeup tutorial. <clears throat> so first things first, I'm going to prime my skin with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. It's only a couple bucks, so you can get it at Target and Walmart. Really, it's it's fun. I don't know. I just like it. It smells good. I think it has tree, tea tree oil in it. So we're just going to rub that into the skin. <clears throat> Next, I use a little bit of this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It's a dupe for the Pore Professional, which I've never used. <clears throat> but I just rub that where I have the biggest pores, which is on my nose. Definitely on my nose. And on my chin. Little pores on my chin. It just, just helps to smooth everything out. Alright, now that's done. Let's move on to foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Photo Focus Foundation uh, in porcelain because I'm super pale. And then sometimes I mix it with a little bit of the L'Oreal True Match. Just a little bit. And I'll be using it with the Morphe M439 Blending Brush. You take it and you get yourself some war stripes down the nose. I used to be really full coverage, but now I just want to do like my skin but better, so I don't really use like a ton, I guess. <clears throat> and a little bit of the true match. This is my uh my first tutorial, so we'll see how this goes. I've learned a lot uh, about makeup from YouTube, and so I thought maybe I would join the community myself and yeah. Okay, so we're going to take the brush, we're going to rub it, just blend it in, make sure you get it down the side of your cheek and your jaw. <clears throat> Make sure you blend it down the neck because you don't want like a that demarcation here. That's not really cute. Makes it pretty obvious that you're wearing foundation. <clears throat> I'm not used to doing my makeup this far away from a mirror. Usually I'm like right up. Right up on it. Make sure you blend it in around the sides of your face, too. It's not like super full coverage. I mean, you can still see some of my my marks and stuff, but it's just a little bit better than, than nothing. <clears throat> Next, we're going to conceal. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15, which I think is a little bit too dark for me. I tried 10, but that was even darker for some reason, so... I'm not like... It's not like my ride or die or anything, but... Make sure you, what I've learned from YouTube is that if you only do it around the actual bags on your eyes, it's just going to accentuate it and you'll have just like big white. So if you do it in sort of a triangle shape, it will help you, uh, it helps bring light up into the eyes. Make you look a little bit more awake. And then I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge. It's old. It's used. It's well loved. I'm just gonna use that. You can use it wet or dry. This one's dry because I'm lazy, but I just blend it in. Make sure you go in to your fine lines. Really work it in there. Make sure everything is blended. Uh, 
I also put it up on my eyes so that it primes it for uh, eyeshadow coming up next. Nice. I also take a little bit on my nose because foundation doesn't usually stay on my nose very well. So I like to pack a little bit extra right there. And at this point, my hands are covered in foundation and I have to go wash my hands. So Next I'm going to take this e.l.f. translucent setting powder. This just helps me so that I don't get as oily throughout the day. I have very oily skin, especially around my, my T-zone here. Very oily, especially my nose. So I'm just going to take some of that on uh, this e.l.f. blush brush. Tap it off and we're going to just push it up here. Put some up on the eyelid, set the eye. This is just going to make it so that your concealer doesn't crease as much throughout the day. I'm also going to take a little bit down my nose because my nose gets very, very oily very quickly. It's, very, it's a little frustrating. Some on the middle of the forehead, a little bit on the chin. Just places where your foundation tends to wear off throughout the day. You can set it here because when I'm doing my eye makeup my hand presses against the side of my face. So I like to set the sides so that doesn't rub off as fast. I'm not super sold on the e.l.f. setting powder but it's what I have so it gets it's a mess so be prepared for a mess. All right and while that's that's setting there I'm going to move on to my eyes and then I'll come back to my face. So for the eyes today, we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, which I keep in its carton to keep it nice and safe. This is a beautiful palette. I'm obsessed with it. It's a little intimidating. It has a ton of shades from, like, all over. This corner is especially intimidating for me, so that's part of the reason I want to have this channel is so that I can try new things with this palette. But for today, we're just going to do a basic going to school. Just want to look a little bit more awake, going to work, whatever it is that you do in your life. So we're going to take this shade. It's called Silk Cream. It's a little bit on this e.l.f. blending brush. We're going to take it up here into the crease. Just windshield wiper back and forth. So I'm going to give you a ton of depth at first, but we're going to use it to build up a little bit more. Build cream, put it on the other side. You know, I wish it would snow here. It's snowing in all the wrong places, I feel. Like Texas and Georgia, but like Utah and California, we're just we're so dry. Poor California. This is breaking my heart. I wish it would rain and just snow like crazy out here in the west. We need it. Because if we don't get a lot of snow now, then it's going to be a really dry summer. Which isn't good for anybody. Alright, next we're going to go in with butter. This color here in the palette. We're just building up browns in the transition, just to add a little bit more depth and color into the eye. I mostly focus on the outer corner. A little bit more butter. This is just what I do when I'm in a huge hurry. I don't want to look like a zombie. Okay. And next we're going to go in with buns here. I've only ever really used brown shadows in my life. I'm going to take it right here in the corner. Just going to really focus it right there. 
like what I was saying is I've I started using brow shadows in my life and that's kind of just where I've I've stayed so I'm excited to use this channel to branch out a little bit more try new things I really like to try new makeup especially mascaras those are some of my favorite I've always loved mascara I try to make it as even as possible. Alright, so I think that's enough here in the outer corner. And what I like to do next, I always like to add glitter. I'm not very good at all matte looks, so I use a lot of a lot of glitter. So next I'm going to take this real techniques shadow base brush and take the sparkly brown that's called Hilster. Get that on this brush. I'm just going to take it across the lid, add some pretty sparkly. It's pretty. Alright, I'm going to work that up into the other colors in the crease. Nice, make sure you blend it. We don't want harsh lines. Take some more of that hillster, we're gonna work on the other eye. I think the challenge for me is gonna be my mascara. Because when I do my mascara, normally I'm like right up against the mirror, leaning on, leaning on a counter. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go with this setup. All right, just make sure you're working it in. Blend it, blend it, nice. And take the take the brush you used to powder, wipe off the powder, and then you're gonna just take the powder that you used to set under the eye, because we're gonna put a little shadow under the eye, just a little. That's a new thing for me. I'm leaving the rest everywhere else, just so it'll continue setting that makeup. And take this tiny little pencil brush from Real Techniques. It's their Precision Smudge Brush, which is exactly what we're going to do. So we're gonna come back up here and take Silk cream, what we started with, this color. I'm gonna run that under the eye, just a little bit. It'll just help to add some more dimension to the eye. So you don't have a ton of shadow up here and then just a complete blank under eye. Just a little bit. I feel like, I feel like Bob Ross, like with my... <laughs> Happy little under eye over here. Let's give that under eye a friend. <laughs> okay, and then next we're gonna take this one, which is buns, again, that we've already used on the lid. So we're gonna take the same colors that we put up here and match it on the bottom. That's, that's the point here, is we're gonna match. This is one of the best palettes I've ever used. Actually, let's, let me rephrase that. This is the best palette I've ever used. But I don't know if that means a lot because I actually don't like have a lot of makeup. I just like it, I like makeup. So that is the under eyes. And make sure you just blend it. You don't want like, like a straight. Make sure you just blend it in. This is, might freak you out. It freaks me out a little bit, but I mean, it's not that much different from putting mascara on the lower lash line. But. And then to finish off the eyes, we're going to take Beam, the second shade in the palette, on this other pencil brush by e.l.f. It's an eye crease brush, but I like to use it for the brow bone, just to add a little bit of light there. Right. 
and then we're going to take some into the inner corner of the eye just to add, add light. It helps open up the eye, helps make you look a little bit more awake. Just right there. Make sure you blend it in with the, the rest of it. And then take the, the brush that you used for the, the brown shadow and just make sure you blend Blend, blend, blend. That's that's part of the most one of the most important things about eyeshadow is blending. You don't want like just like gobs. You just want it to look subtle. Like that. Nice. Okay. Next is mascara, which is what I'm actually I'm actually the most nervous about doing the mascara. But we'll see. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I have really long eyelashes genetically. Thanks, Dad. Um, but I still like to curl them and make sure that they're separated and just at their best. So I'm going to take my just any old eye, uh, eyelash curler. Any old eyelash curler will do here. I'm going to curl them up. And I like to squeeze a little bit. Just help pump it up. Pump it, pump it, pump it up. <laughs> right? <clears throat> okay, so for mascara, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara in Waterproof. All of my mascaras and eyeliners are waterproof because when I'm tired and I yawn, my eyes water really badly. Like, really badly. Like, some people, like, their eyes will fill up, but, like, it's, like, gushing down my eyes for me. So all of my mascara has been waterproof since I was in seventh grade when I started wearing mascara. Okay, so I like to do the bottoms first. When you're taking this out of the tube, it's really thick and it can clump up. So I like to drag it a little bit on one side and then use that side on my lashes to avoid it getting insanely clumpy. I'm not sure, I bought this mascara twice and I'm not sure I'm gonna buy it again. We'll see. Anyway, so we're gonna work on the lower lashes here. I always do my lower lashes first because when I do my upper lashes, I tend to like catch my lower lashes and it just, this is what I've always done. I think lower lashes are an important part of makeup, of makeup. I think lower lashes are an important part of the eye a little bit of color, like you've been outside. And it's winter now, so we have to fool people into think that we still go outside in the winter. A little bit on the forehead, drill in. Just helps to balance that out. And then for blush, I'm going in with this CoverGirl blush in the shade Ice Plum. I don't like this blush, but I just, I've been too lazy to go buy a new one. So I'm taking the same blush I or the same blush, the same brush I did to do my under eye. I've wiped off all the powder, and so I'm gonna just try to build up as much pigment as I can on the brush. Two things: I need a new blush brush, and I need new blush. That's that's fine. I'm just gonna come up on the cheeks here, just pat it in. Make sure you blend it with the bronzer. You don't want to just like have like a gap between them. Add some color to the face. Add some color. That's another thing I've said too many times this tutorial. Oh, <laughs> blinding myself. Nice. You want to diffuse it a little bit. You don't want like okay. And then I'm not really big on highlighters. I think I have mine in the wrong shade, but sometimes I like a subtle glow instead of just a completely matte face because it makes it look like I have some more life. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was at my grandma's house and she's like. Wow, your complexion looks so great. And I was like, it's highlighter. <laughs> Just add a little bit more life. I don't have a brush for it, so I just use my finger. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> you don't want to like a again no harsh lines no harsh lines you just add a little bit to the cheekbones you can do as much or as little as you like I'm not for the crazy beam it's not really my style just a little more subtle a little bit of color some to life, you know? Just dust off the rest of the powder from earlier. Wherever you left it. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this Fit Me powder by Maybelline in the shade 110 Porcelain. It's on a powder brush. Just set everything. Helps that glow to be a little bit more subtle. And last we set, I'm using the Make Milani Make It Last setting spray. And you just keep it a little bit away from your face because you don't want to like, pssst. You just want like a nice mist. This has a really good mist on it. I do like it. And then fan it off. Help it dry into the skin. And you can just go like this, no lips if you don't want any lips, or you can add a little bit of lip color. I'm going to go in with e.l.f. Ravishing Rose. I've got really little lips. You gotta be careful. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. Alright, and that is it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, guys.